Jerry Jones has awesome plan to stop anthem protesters but racist player has sick new way to disrespect Americans. Jerry Jones has been a vocal opponent of the national anthem protest in the NFL. He is well known as the owner of the Dallas Cowboys. However, one of his own players is appearing to defy him. Lord only knows how this is going to end for all of them. The player, in particular, was defensive lineman David Irving. Jones told the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. I've made a call. You'll just have to wait till Sunday. However, Irving has raised his fist in the past in display in solidarity with those who protest against the national anthem. He did it again prior to the Cowboys' Week 5 game in front of the entire stadium and reporters. Rumor is that he plans to repeat this again on Sunday when the Dallas Cowboys play the San Francisco 49ers. The same team that Colin Kaepernick played for and who originated the protest. Irving said the following about protesting. I've had way more support. I'm not disrespecting the flag. I really haven't gotten anything negative. It's all positive. CBS Sports reported the following. That could change in the future, because ahead of the Cowboys Week 6 bye, Jerry Jones said that any player that disrespects the flag will not play. Jerry demurred on whether raising a fist at the end of the anthem, as Irving, and Damon Moore, did in Week 5, qualifies as disrespect, but said, if there is anything disrespecting the flag, then we will not play, for the Dallas Morning News. Period. We're going to respect the flag and I'm going to create the perception of it. Jerry knows all about creating that perception, as he was himself criticized by a reader letter to the Fort Worth Star-Telegram for remaining seated during the national anthem at the first home game of his tenure as the Cowboys owner. Jeers, to Jerry Jones and Liz Taylor, who were the only two people at last Sunday's Cowboys-Redskins game not standing when the national anthem was played. Riding out in a cart was bad enough, but sitting while it was played was more than many of us could handle. Jerry, please note that in Texas, we stand for the national anthem. Jones now believes, having been told by the president that it was the case, that there is actually a rule requiring players to stand for the national anthem. However, NFL spokesman Brian McCarthy told FactCheck.org that players are not required to stand for the anthem. That fact was reinforced this week when owners and players met to discuss the national anthem policy, player protests, and several other social issues and came away not having changed anything regarding the lack of a requirement to stand during the anthem, but instead endorsing criminal justice legislation and deciding to finance an activism boot camp. Irving has told reporters that his actions have nothing to do with the president, the owner of the team or the flag. Instead, he says the protest is about speaking out against police brutality against people of color, particularly African American people. Something that many of the protesters are echoing. Jones has made his intentions clear. However, he hasn't clarified whether kneeling, sitting, or raising or fist, or doing anything similar would be a fireable offense. Since Irving has been the most ardent supporter of the protest on the team it is likely he will continue to protest. Watching Jones' reaction and seeing what will happen as a result of the protest will be interesting. Especially given how vocal he has been about it. CBS Sports also reported. Cowboys players were reportedly angered by Jones' public hardline stance, and the team had a meeting with Jones about it during the bye week. They mostly declined to talk about what was said during the meeting, but Irving apparently emerged determined to demonstrate in some fashion this weekend. Irving is an incredibly important player for the Cowboys. The clear weakness of their team is the pass rush, and though Demarcus Lawrence has been an absolute monster this season, Irving was clearly the team's best defensive lineman last season, when Lawrence was alternately injured and ineffective. We know Jones would do anything to win, but we also know he would do anything to project the appearance of total control. Depending on what Irving's specific actions are on Sunday. Those two desires could come into conflict with one another. While Jones has been harsh in his stance, many others have been the exact opposite showing solidarity with protesters, whether it be public servants, politicians, celebrities, businessmen, and women, making Jones more of a lone wolf for opposing it in the league. If all of his players protest is he really going to fire them all?
that is the real question that needs to be answered. While it seems highly improbable he may very well just do that and if that is the case the entire team will be flipped upside down for the season. Join the Support Our Vets, Boycott the NFL and their sponsors Facebook page by liking it, and share if you're boycotting the NFL and the companies that support them. Support them.